Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Well, it's October and fall in Michigan with leaves changing color and falling to the ground. It's always a challenge to get the timing right, but today's clear weather and calm winds allowed for a perfect opportunity to fly to northern Michigan, stop in to a local airport, find breakfast at a nearby restaurant, and take the long way home while searching for fall colors. Today's destination, Mayo, Michigan, a town so named in honor of the founder's wife. An interesting fact about Mayo is that, although located in northern Michigan, it surprisingly is the site of the record hottest temperature in the state, reaching 112 degrees Fahrenheit on July 13th during the deadly North American heat wave of 1936. I arrived in Mayo to meet neighbors Mark and Gordon, where we walked to the Paddle Inn restaurant next door to the airport to have breakfast. 
The Osawa River, which runs through Mayo, is noted for its popularity for canoeing. After breakfast, I traveled east following the river. Beginning in Frederick Township in the northern Lower Peninsula, the Osawa River flows 138 miles where it empties into Lake Huron in Oscoda. There are six reservoirs along the river constructed in the first quarter of the 20th century to facilitate hydroelectric power generation. Also along the Osawa River near Horseshoe Island is the site of Lumberman's Monument, a memorial dedicated to the workers of Michigan's logging industry of the latter half of the 19th century. The Lumberman's Monument Visitor Center allows guests to learn about the historic logging industry and provides hands-on demonstrations of the tools and techniques used by loggers of the era. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's flight and color tour along the Osaba River. Please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I'm interested to know if you've ever canoed or camped along the river or visited Lumberman's Monument. 
What's your favorite destination for fall colors in Michigan? Thanks for joining me on today's flight. I'm looking forward to bringing you more sights as we continue to explore Michigan by air. Thanks for watching.